question concerns fear of speaking. Fear of? Speaking. Fear of? What I'm doing right now. Yes, thank you. It's probably why I just I'm wanted here. to point out the paradox. <laughs> since you seem to be doing so well speaking right now. Thank you. Are you afraid? Uh, not too much. Well, then, do you really have a fear of speaking? I do in certain situations. Oh, in certain situations. Such as? Very exciting situations or situations that involve high emotions. High emotions. Yes. So. And I... what are you afraid will happen in those situations if you speak? Um, I'm not sure. Are I you afraid that... you will fumble over your words? Are you afraid you will be mm. laughed at, ridiculed, not taken seriously, Maybe thought to be less be... than intelligent? What are you afraid of? I think I'm afraid I'll get hurt. Hurt by what? Um, maybe I'll get rejected or rejected by whom? The people I talk to. You can't be rejected by people that you're talking to. You can only reject yourself. That's a good point. I know, that's why I made it. <laughs> so the question really is, is why are you rejecting yourself? Um, Do you not find yourself valid? Do you not find yourself worthy? Do you think of yourself as less than? Are you attempting to measure yourself against other people and finding yourself coming up short? Sometimes. Yes. But why do you do that when you have no business doing that? In fact, you have no ability to do that. You are unique. They are unique. There's no way you can compare yourself really to anyone else. So why are you doing something that's not really possible to do? Well, maybe I should stop. Well, maybe you ought to. If you prefer to, yes. But the question is, why do you do it? Why are you rejecting yourself? Why are you invalidating yourself? It feels like a vibration that I can shift into or out of. Yes, I understand it's a vibration, but the question is why are you choosing it if you don't prefer it? I think I have felt that way. I understand you felt that way, but feeling that way is not the reason. Feelings are only the result of something you already believe or define to be true. You I... can't have the feeling about it if you don't already actually believe something right. about yourself to be true that is generating that feeling. So you can't use feeling as the excuse to keep having the feeling. True. Do you understand? So the idea is to find out what the feeling is telling you. The feeling is there to tell you you have a belief that's out of alignment with who you prefer to be and help you get in touch and identify what that definition is so that you can change it, let it go if you don't prefer it. So you have to use the feeling in the way they're designed to be used instead of just wallowing in it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you're having Absolutely. fear, then the question is, what would I have to believe is true about myself in this situation in order to feel the way I do? And or conversely, if I did choose to move forward and be the self I prefer to be, what am I terrified will happen and one way or another you will identify what the definition is. Generally in these circumstances it has to do with what we've already talked about. Issues of self-doubt, self-invalidation, mm -hmm. not being worthy, not being good enough, so on and so forth. You understand? Yes. So you bought into these ideas somewhere in your life, either from your parents, your friends, your school, your society, doesn't really matter where they came from, you bought into them as true, that I don't measure up, I'm not worthy, which right. is absolute nonsense, because if you really weren't worthy, believe me, you wouldn't exist, because creation doesn't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So if you exist, then creation knows you need to exist, or it wouldn't be all that it is without you. You're that valuable. Wow. So stop arguing with creation about your worth. That's what you're doing. You're arguing with creation. True. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> so are you ready to stop arguing with creation? Are you ready to believe that you're worthy by the very fact and the proof of your existence? Or are there still some other beliefs in there that are preventing you from really being who you prefer to be? Um. And you do, by the way, notice that you've been speaking in front of a crowd during this entire conversation. I have noticed that. Thank you for reminding me. All right. <laughs> I think what you just said yes. gives me something I'm that you can allow to, to sink in. Yes. All right, if you want to yes. work on it, go ahead and work on it. And when you are done working on it, perhaps you will decide to actually shift. Okay.
Yes, yeah, it's I all do. right if you want to work on it. That's fine. I'm not taking away your process. By all means, if that's the process you believe will work for you, then please don't invalidate it. It's absolutely valid. All I'm simply pointing out is that all of the working on it doesn't actually shift you. You shift when you decide to shift, and it's instantaneous. And the working on it is just giving you time to get used to the idea that you deserve to do it. But when you finally decide you deserve to do it, you'll just shift. So I could shift just now? You just could like shift that. instantly if you wanted to, if you believed that it was real for you. But if you don't right. believe it right now, that's okay too. You can enjoy working on it if that's what you want to do, if that will give you some perspective, if that will give you some stability, if that will give you a safe place to decide that you're worthy, then by all means work on it. I'm just telling you it's not always necessary to do so, but that's up to you to decide. I like the idea of being worthy. Whoa, it's more yes. exciting than not being worthy. It is more exciting and that's yeah. what tells you that that's what's true for you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be exciting. Absolutely. Make sense? Totally. Does this help you? Very much. Why, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you.